Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the new series. My name is Pooja Devedi. Let's talk about the Smart Cities Mission. Now this topic is in is in the news because we have to take into consideration what the progress has been since its launch in the year 2015. What we have achieved. These are the many topics that we are going to discuss step by step from the perspective of GS Mains Paper Second and Third. So in detail, let us look at what is Smart Cities Mission. It was launched in the year 2015. and it is an innovative initiative by the union government of india to drive economic growth and also improving the standard of living of the people how by enabling the development in the local region and also taking the full use of artificial intelligent intelligence cloud computing and other important uh, you know deep mach- machine learning deep learning all these things are integrated into uh, the smart cities mission also it will serve as a means to create smart outcomes for the citizen and also in a sustainable way we have to ensure that we balance the environment as well with the development the objective is to promote cities that provide core infrastructure that means infrastructure that is important for the sustainable living of human beings such as water adequate water sanitization connectivity better roads and many other things and give a decent quality of life a clean and sustainable environment for the by the application of smart pollution sustainable and inclusive development it should be sustained for a longer period of time and it should be inclusive in nature no one should be left behind to look at the compact areas creating replicable model which shall be implemented all across the or, or we can say pan india so one area can serve as a model the model if it works for other regions as well it will be implemented there it's a pan city initiative in which at least one smart solution is applied in the entire city to develop area step by step three models of area based development first is retrofitting second is redevelopment and third is greenfield so remember the three pillars of it the core areas of infrastructure are adequate water supply a short electricity supply sanitation which also includes solid waste management efficient urban mobility and public transport affordable housing and robust it connectivity as well as digitization good governance minimum governance uh, minimum government maximum governance that means the government should not interfere as long as the people are able to live sustainably and harmless harmoniously when it comes to economic areas as well as environmental areas sustainable environment safe secure uh, safety and security of the citizens particularly women children and the elderly also health and education so these are the core areas of development Now, between January two thousand sixteen and two thousand eighteen of June, uh, when the last city Shillong was added to the list, the ministry selected hundred cities for the mission over the five rounds. The project was supposed to be completed within five years from two thousand fifteen onwards, but in twenty twenty one, the ministry has changed the deadline of all the cities to June twenty twenty three because of the COVID nineteen pandemic. Moving ahead, as of March third, the hundred cities have issued work orders for seven thousand seven ninety nine projects. Which is worth rupees one zero one point eight zero lakh crore. The government has told the parliament this. Out of these five thousand three hundred and ninety nine projects worth one point zero two lakh crore rupees have been already completed, and the rest are uh, ongoing. Okay, moving ahead. Only around twenty cities are likely to be uh, to be meeting the June deadline. If we talk about the first five cities that were selected from two thousand fifteen, cities selected in January and June two thousand eighteen. have achieved 44% of their targets while those selected in 2016 in the second round are not much farther uh, farther ahead with 46% of the completion shillong has completed just one of its 18 proposed project so i hope you understood the entire segment that's it thank you so much for watching